Hey guys, uh, just showing you a little uh, trick to do with making sweeps and the fact that you can twist along the path of a sweep. And this is just an application where you're trying to make something that spirals but it doesn't spiral around a circle. So I've got a sketch here which is going to be the former shape for this. I'm going to edit that sketch and uh, all I want to do there is just to clean up this profile so that instead of a series of lines and arcs, it's one closed shape. So I'm going to put a fits line across it. Just grab one of those and say select the chain. Loops it around all of those. You could change this tolerance if you wanted to, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. And so that's created just one closed spline around there. I'm going to make that into a surface extrude. So just up into our surfaces and go extrude. And I'll make that 50 millimeters. Go OK to that, and you can see that we've got one smooth shape. Now, the sweep with the um, twist along path is going to be controlled by a simple straight line, and the path is a straight line. So I'm going to go into my surfaces and say I'd like to do a sweep. I just want a simple straight line for the, the um, profile, and the path it's going to follow is also a straight line. But the trick here is to get it to twist instead of following the path straight as it is. So under our options, we can say, instead of following the path, I want to twist along the path. And then you can set how many turns that's going to take. And I want that to turn five times. So when we go OK to that, and you can kind of see from the preview, you get this spiraling intersection of one surface with the first surface I chose, which is the former shape that I want the tube to go around. So. What I can do now is generate an intersection curve between those two surfaces and that becomes the path I need for the piece of tube that's going to go around the former. I'll just go OK to that, so there's the intersection and if we hide our surface bodies you can see there that I've got a path that spirals around and it has that overall former shape. You can think of this as something like a um, cooling coil in copper that might go around something. So for that reason I'm just going to make this out of copper. And now I need to be able to set a start position or a shape for my um, tube cross section. So I'm going to select the end of the spline that it's made for the intersection. Select the spline itself and go into my reference geometry and just say like a plane. Puts a plane right on the end of that curve. And that way we can straight away go in and sketch on the end of that plane. I don't really need to see it, so I'll hide the plane. But we're inside the sketch, so there's the end of our curve. And I'll just uh, just draw a circle um, to get in. Oh, beg your pardon. Let's try that again. I'll just go in and draw a circle. And we'll do two so that we've got a, a tubular sort of cross-section in there. And I'll give those some dimensions. Let's say the, uh, the wall thickness between those two. Give it a one millimeter, and I'll just make the outside diameter eight millimeters. Now I need to join that to the um, the end of the the spline, so I'm going to take the center point of the circle, also select that intersection curve spline, and say I want to pierce those two together. That will lock that onto the curve. Now, as you can see, that's moved into the wrong position, so I don't don't want it there. So I'm just going to undo that. I'm just going to drag that a little bit closer to the curve to start with. Um, you just need to be careful where your selection point is when you're selecting that to, to put the pierce relationship on. That's jumped in on the end. So if we move away now, I've got my cross section that I need. I've got the path, which is the intersection of the spiraling surface and that former shape. So we can go and make our solid sweep out of those. So I'll go into my sweep boss. Got my sketch. Want to drive it along that path. And Instead of just following the path with this one, I'm also going to go to that same option and turn on the twist along path, but I won't set any value on it. Now what you'll see as an effect that that will have is overall that smooths the, the sweep, so it makes it a little bit more uniform when you're creating something like this. Uh, so give it a chance to build, and then we've got our little cooling tube that goes around a, an odd shaped former and yet still spirals around that in the sort of a helical fashion. Okay, I hope that's been um, informative for you, and um, I'm sure you'll find an application for that at some stage. Um, good luck with that. Thanks very much.